Welcome to VCP 144 Web Design 1. Uh, I am John Cohn. I'm going to be your uh, professor for the, uh, the semester. Um, so, yeah, welcome. So, uh, what, I'm, uh, what I'm doing here, basically, what I, what I want to do is just show you how the class is going to be, to be laid out. Like, that's basically the goal of this video, uh, just so you know kind of how to proceed. This is going to be an online-only class. Now, normally, this is a face-to-face -face class, uh, but obviously, because of conditions, it's not going to be that way. So, we'll do the best we can. Let's work with each other, and, you know, hopefully, we'll have a, a good thing going. All right? So, first off, you're going to need to be able to log into your Blackboard account. So, open up your favorite web browser. So, cecil.blackboard.com. Okay? And hopefully, I don't know if any, hopefully you already know, you should already know your stuff anyway, but log in. Hopefully you've used Blackboard at least a little bit. Go to your courses, and then obviously go to this course. So, doo -doo -doo. where are you at? Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da See, I teach a couple of courses, so they get a little bit jumbled. That's it? Yep, okay. So here's Blackboard. This is going to be kind of the base station of the course. Pretty much most of the materials and such are going to be posted here. Uh, and everything's done here, all right? So now when you look at your courses, probably all of them, I'm assuming most all, if not all of your courses this semester are probably online. And so you're probably wondering where to start. The, this is auto, what's in here, a lot of it's auto-populated. And one of the things that's on here is start here. That's probably the starting point for your other courses as well. So I would click on that. And then you should be able to, they'll probably have directions from there. I'm not, I mean, I mean, everybody's doing their own thing, so I'm not 100% sure what they're doing. Um, but that's where mine is, so that's would be the first spot that you would want to um, click on, okay? So, uh, you click on that, and then it says, oh, yeah, you're supposed to be there. And then course overview. And then it says, welcome to Web Design 1. And it gives you the course description, which you probably already know. And it says kind of the things you should be doing in this section. And then there's a link, basically, to week one, which is the first week of, class okay uh, but there's another thing in here that I want to show you so you click on start here you'll see there's another one called required hardware and software so um, we will mostly be using uh, Microsoft Visual Studio code um, uh, especially in the beginning but later on we will be using Adobe Dreamweaver and uh, that is part of the Adobe Creative Cloud subscription uh, which costs you know El dinero so, um, which kind of stinks, uh, because normally if we were in a face-to-face -face class, we would be doing it in class, we'd be using Dreamweaver, and then we also have open lab hours uh, in the VCP lab that you can also work in. So you're not required to, you know, purchase a subscription and all that other stuff. And, I mean, let's be honest, I don't make you uh, have a book or anything either, so it wouldn't be like a terrible thing. Um, but... Uh, I don't, I'm not sure if it's Cecil that set this up or if it was um, Adobe, but either way, you can actually download the Creative Cloud for this semester. I don't know if they're going to do it next semester uh, for free. And you can just follow basically these instructions here. Uh, more or less what you're going to do is you're going to go to their website, creativecloud.adobe, and you're going to sign into your um, Cecil email address. And then um, it will it'll basically, you have like a free, like you get the subscription because of that. Um, and... The only program we're probably going to need, um, yeah, we're going to need two programs. I should have put the other one up there. I don't know why I didn't. Uh, we're going to need uh, Adobe Dreamweaver, which is a web design and publishing software, as well as um, Adobe Photoshop, which is a graphic design software uh, for uh, raster image editing. So um, you're going to want to download the, both of those. So Adobe Dreamweaver and Adobe Photoshop. Those are the two that we're going to need. Um, so just go ahead and download those, you know, uh, put them in your thing. So on and so forth. I don't really care as much about the Adobe software. I'm going to be covering it. So if for some reason you have issues with it, we might be able to work around it. Like if you can't get installed, it should work. I don't see any reason why it wouldn't, but you know, let me know uh, if you run into any issues with that. All right. So, but basically just follow these instructions and that should guide you kind of through the process. I'm not going to cover week one yet. I'm going to come to that at the end and kind of describe what we're dealing with that. Uh, instead, I'm going to kind of go through and show you what the rest of this Blackboard stuff is. Uh, to go from there. So first off, you can see you can get the course syllabus here, which honestly is not super informative, so I wouldn't even worry about that. Uh, but if you go on the bottom here, you'll see my grades, so your grades obviously get posted there. Faculty information. So this one's super useful. So basically every professor, every class that you have, 
they are they are required to fill this out. And this isn't just an online thing. They're always supposed to fill this out, even before pre-pandemic days. Um, you, uh, if you teach at CISO, you're required to fill out the faculty information. Okay. So in there, what you'll do is you'll see a, a picture of your professor, so you can see me here, uh, and then you'll see the email address. But doom. So if you need to email me, there you go. Um, here's my um, work phone. So this is my phone in my office. I'm not going to answer it. <laughs> so uh, I'm not even allowed to go there. So everyone's locked out. Uh, I think there's some people that can go there, but I'm not one of them. I'm not high enough on the totem pole. Uh, my office location. Also, again, not in my office. So that's not going to work. Um, so what I did, though, instead is uh, on my cell phone, I added a number that you can call or text don't call because it's weird we, we live in a different time now um but if you have any issues just go ahead and text me and then i'll call you back or i'll text you back and we'll try to figure it out or you can email me either way but you can just treat this basically like if this was my office number we're gonna go with that okay so that fun way if you need to contact me go ahead and contact me there or here if it's something real quick like hey what's this blah blah, blah you can just text it it's fine uh, i'm here to help you that's what i'm trying to do I want you to be successful. That's our goal, okay? Um, my office hours, which basically means that I should be on my butt in the seat during these hours. Uh, so those are particularly good if you want to contact me because I'm going to be more likely to respond with more immediacy um, at those times, okay? I use, a, if you've had me for other classes, you would know this. If you haven't, you wouldn't. But I use a personal website that I post all my information and such onto. Um, and that's it there. But uh, there's direct links to it you'll see later on, but that's what that is. Okay, so yada, 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 you get the idea. Now, it might be that you be like, hey, I'm stuck on something, blah, 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 right? So in order for me to maybe help you, because we're going to be doing coding because it's web design, um, although you shouldn't run into too many major errors, um, you might have difficulty and I might need to be able to like see you and see your computer. What we can do is we can use a, um, the uh, Blackboard Collaborate. Uh, I haven't used this version of it before, uh, but if you were here last semester, um, that's what we were doing for virtual classes. We were meeting via this. Basically, it's Zoom or Skype or whatever you want to call it, a video conferencing software built into Blackboard. So you might text me, oh, I'm stuck. And I'm like, hey, let's meet at the virtual, what I call it? I called it the virtual meeting area. So you're just going to click on this, and I will create a session, and then we'll just meet up right here, and then I can help you. All right, and so that that's what this is for. Um, I'm not going to set it up unless we need it for something, but that's it's it's readily available. We have tools at our disposal to, to try and help you as much as possible. All right. Okay, above that is email, so that's just a quick way you click on that, and then you can email me. I don't know if you guys can email each other. I don't think you do have. Con um, I don't think you have that power. I have the power. So um, above that, you will see that we have discussions, announcements, and. Um, Assignments. Announcements basically are just ways that I can post things, be like, hey, this is a thing. Make sure you're doing this. Most of the time, it's probably going to be, be me being like, hey, you guys are terrible. You haven't turned any work in. Or, you know what I mean? Or something like that. It'll just be like prodding you until you get, get things done. So, um, But I might even make this an announcement, this video, and post it there. Uh, but this is usually the landing page. So anything that's like they want to you know, make an announcement, this is where it gets posted. All right, um, so discussions, uh, we have this uh, discussion board. So the first week, you're just going to do an introductions uh, discussion. I'm sure you're probably doing these in all your classes, so I apologize. But we're trying to create as much of a virtual classroom as possible. So uh, normally on the first day, I, you know, I'd have you kind of introduce yourself so we all know each other and we can sing Kumbaya and be a fan, right? Uh, but I would like to know a little bit about you guys. Uh, I might have some insight, uh, things like that. Uh, might be able to benefit me in some way. Um, okay, so that's the discussion boards. And then all the assignments will be posted into this assignment section. Uh, and you will go through there and do what have you. Okay, so um, this is how the class is going to work. So you see there's week one there. Basically, every Monday at midnight, the week's content will be posted right over here. So right now we have week one. So then on the 31st, uh, week two, you'll see, is up here. And then on a week from there will be week, uh, which I guess September 7th, maybe? I think I have a third, can't go past 31st, right? Uh, September 7th um, will be uh, week three, okay? 
And so it'll be posted then, and then basically you have one week to complete what's in that, in this section. You get one week to complete what's in the section, whatever assignments or discussions or whatever, you gotta get that done by the next week, okay? And that's basically how it's gonna work. So I'm just gonna give you some stuff, you're gonna digest it, give me stuff back, and then we're gonna go to the next week. And that's basically the idea, okay? So, generally speaking, whenever you see anything that's laid out like this, like kind of listy-like, Start at the top and work your way down, okay? That's how I want you to kind of treat everything, and you'll see later on. So, first thing, week one introduction. So if you click on that, it's basically gonna say, welcome to the class. There'll be an introduction for each week. It'll say like what you'll be able to do by the end of the week, and what we're going to do in this week's stuff, okay? So it's not really all that useful, to be honest with you, but if you wanna see a, a kind of a topical outline, that's basically what it is. Then after that, I have a lecture. So um, this is just a direct web link to my personal site. So if we were in a face-to-face -face class, normally what I would do is, uh, or any professor, I don't use them now, but uh, a professor would have probably PowerPoints, right, of information that they would give you, uh, you know, display to you, and they probably would be doing demos or labs, okay? So in our case, obviously, that is not gonna be the case. So what I'm doing instead is I'm just having this website, and this is basically my information that I am giving you, uh, so you will read it, and then you'll complete any activities in there, like those video tutorials, and then you will submit them as the assignments, okay? So basically, you click on that, it's gonna bring you here, and you're just gonna scroll down through. You're gonna go, yep, mm -hmm, okay, yep, that's great. All the way through this stuff here. Um, yada, 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 And then you get to the end, and then here you can see I actually post the information about the first assignment. And you will notice that all assignments are, um, they always have four categories. Right? And each one's worth 25%, so you do those, and then you get 100%. So file submissions one, basic structures one, contents one, and aesthetics one. You can kind of see what I'm looking at in those. Okay, and then along with this, you'll see uh, resources for the assignment. So you can see uh, the video tutorials, which will be posted underneath, which currently is the Jim Gaffigan video. Uh, and I will post the video tutorials there, and you will follow those. And then um, any other resources as well. Um, so for instance, if... If um, it's not this week, we don't need it, but like if there's, I, I'm, I'm having you put an image in a website, I will have the images that you need for the lab also underneath the resources section, okay? Um, I wanna show you one thing just while we're here, this ghost it thing. I'm only gonna post it in the first week, but maybe it'll be useful to you, maybe not. So normally, if we were in the classroom, right, you would look at your monitor and then I would have what I'm working on projected, and so you can look at what I'm doing and then do it here, look up and down, up and down, and that's great. That's obviously not gonna happen because now, as you can tell, you are watching a video. So um, if you're trying to do the homework and then you need to watch the video, you're gonna have to like do the homework, minimize the video, bring up your stuff, da 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 da, minimize your stuff, bring up the video, okay, and then, you know what I mean, it's gonna be kind of hard so best case scenario is that you have multiple monitors. So if you're in web design, this is maybe a chance that you have it because you're probably a geek of some sort. Uh, so if you have multiple monitors, that's great. You can put like the thing on one side, like the video, do your work over here. I have three monitors, you know? So I, I even now, like I keep notes on the, actually I don't have my notes, I think I'm saying. Uh, I keep notes over here to try to keep me directed, although obviously it doesn't seem to work that well. Um, that would be best case scenario. Another thing you could do is, let's say you have a tablet, you know what I mean? So put the video on a tablet, maybe just set it to the side and you can watch the video and then work over here. That would also work. I have seen people use their phones, um, but I mean, it's up to you. I mean, if you can do it, you can do it. But especially since what we're gonna be doing is gonna be typing. So the type's gonna be really small. I don't know if this is gonna work that great. So um, this program here, would, my idea, you don't have to use this, it's just a suggestion. Basically, if you click on it, it's gonna bring you to this program it's just a free download. It's actually really, really old. I don't even remember. It's like older than this. Like this is when it was posted here. So you can see it's it's old. But you download it here and it's gonna give you a zip file. So then you're just gonna take the zip file, you right click over top of it. Uh, if you're on a, P, or a Mac, you just double click and it will extract it. But if you're on a, a PC, you right click to extract all. It's gonna have a folder, it looks like this. Okay, and it went over there. And basically it's got this little thing here. It doesn't install, it just runs from here. So you're gonna have to put that folder somewhere and then just, if you want to use it, and then you just double click it. When you double click it, it's going to put a little ghost man over here. Very spooky, very, very spooky. 
Um, it's got this little ghost dude here. Um, and the way it works, basically, is you double-click on the little ghost guy, and then your cursor becomes a little ghost man, which is cute, right? And what it's going to do is that now I can click on this tab, and it's going to make it see-through. Very, very haunting, okay? And I'm just going to minimize this. Picture that this is like a, a video, like the video I'm trying to follow, right? And let's say most of what I'm typing is over here. What you can do now is basically... Um, it will always be see-through. So you can see, even though this is up above it, I can actually still see it there. So I could like work over here and not have to worry about like minimizing or doing the split screen thing or anything like that. I could just put an area where I'm not writing a lot or that's kind of plain, and I could somewhat follow it. Now the only thing is you can't actually select it through here. So, oh, this guy's got a video. Thanks, bud. I was wondering what else freaking me out here. It was spooky ghosts um anyway uh you can put it over here it's also good like let's say you're doing artwork if you're a bcp student um you know you could put a reference image behind your thing that you're working on you could draw and like have like a picture of a dog and you're drawing a dog over here it's good for like that sort of thing um i don't know it may or may not be useful to you i thought it was kind of interesting uh i've used it before i've shown students before most of the time what they end up doing is they literally like i saw students using it. i'm like oh good they're actually using it and i look and they're working in whatever and then all they did is they just they made it Netflix. They were like watching movies while they're working, which I guess I enriched their life in some way. Um, but there is a little bit more control you can do with this as well. So if I click over here, if you right click on this, you can go to configure. And then uh, let's say this is too too much. I can I can lower it. So let's say I go to like 34 and hit apply. You can see now it's more see through. So you can change basically the opacity or transparency of it of when it's active and when it's not. You can also, you know, you might be like, oh, I'm done with it. Just right click on it and just click on unghost all and that like turns it off. Okay. So that might be helpful to you. You don't have to use it. I just thought I would throw that in there as a thing that might be helpful to you. I don't know. Okay. And then at the very bottom here, it's just like, remember to do these things. Like this is what you should have done this week. Um, now I want to cover one other thing in the, this website while we're here. And that's basically the assignment so that you understand how that works. Okay. There are three, uh, Three things that are being graded. Labs, projects, and discussion boards. Those are the three, okay? You can see the percentages here and the number here. 13 labs, there's three projects, and there's four discussion boards, and it's 50%, 40%, and 10% respectively. Okay, basically what the labs are, they're due every week, and what you do is you're just going to, you're going to follow the video tutorials that I post, and you're just going to do them exactly as I do. It's going to go bump, bump, and then you're going to turn them in. It's basically what you would normally do in class, where I would do a demo and you would follow along. This is just to make sure that you are doing, you're following along with me, that I know that you're actually work, like doing classwork. That's your class time, okay? That's basically what the labs are. So that's due every week, you know what I mean? That's basically the idea there. The projects, you'll have three long form projects. Those are your homework. That's your big projects. Uh, they're going to be due. And there's three of them. So I think one is um, a biography page. One is a it's a bootstrap site, but I'm trying to remember what it called it. What's that one? Oh, I think it was an interest website. And then the last one is just your final project. Okay. Um, so there's going to be three projects. Now the projects are basically the same thing as the labs, but instead of like, I'll have four labs that we're basically doing what the first project is, but they're, they're individual one things. The projects are kind of, will basically cover the same, it, it, what the labs are, what the projects are. But the difference is, is that, for one, they're not due every week. They're just due by the end of the semester. You can hand it in. Don't do it if you can help it, because that would upset me. But you can hand it in the last week. I don't really care. So there's flexibility with those. Um, so one is they're, they're just due, they're long form, whatever you want them to be. The other aspect of it is that they're more creative, because there's no real limitations. I mean, I'll have requirements, but you can, like... It allows you to be creative, as opposed to the labs where you just basically mimic me. You're going to do the same thing you did in the labs, but you're going to do your own thing with it. Okay, so that's sort of the difference. I hope that makes sense. So the, the projects reinforce what the labs are, but they're your own thing. Um, they're your homework. Okay, so uh, that's what the projects are. And then the discussion boards, you're going to see that there's four discussion boards, but there's three projects. The reason why is that one of the discussion boards is the introduction discussion board, which you got to do this week. And then the other three are basically when you get done with the project, 
you're going to submit it, but you also are going to post it in the discussion thread um, for a critique. So you'll post it on there. You write a little bit about it, like, oh, this is a website about my dog, and she's awesome, and, you know, she likes things, okay? Uh, so you'll post it, and then you also need to reply to two of your peers' posts, uh, things that are constructive, right? So, like, oh, I like the color scheme of your website, you know, so something positive, and then do something critical, you know, um, I think your font choices could be improved, um, and you look silly with a beard. Okay, something like that. Do the sandwich. Something nice, something, you know. But do both critical and also constructive. Because um, that's how we learn. But, you know, be nice about it. You know, if you do mean things, I'll be shamed at you. I'll call your mom and tell her what kind of bad kid she's raising. Um, so, obviously, um, write nice things. But you got to reply to two. So, you got to post yours and reply to two for each one of the projects. Okay? And that's worth 10%. Uh, and that's just to try, because obviously we're in a classroom, I, we would look at everybody's and we would say things. It's meant to mimic that basic uh, concept. So that's what those are. All right. Okay. So you're going to go through uh, this. You're going to go all the way down and go, yep, I'm watching the videos. I'm reading the information. I'm doing the things that they told me to do. Then uh, after the, um, uh, that, then you can see here's the introduction. So you can click on that and that will bring you directly to the introduction. So just read this first because this is the instructions. And then you'll create a thread, introduce yourself, so on and so forth. Um, click back on week one. And then you can see the assignment here. So I click on this. It's going to bring me directly to the assignment. And then, um, you know, uh, here's the resources. So uh, for this one, I, there isn't any lab materials. So this is a lab. Um, but it just says click on this. It's literally just going to bring you to the website. And you're supposed to go to the bottom of the video tutorials there. I might post the video tutorials in there. I'm not sure yet. Um, but you would just click on this. And then you would submit your zipped folder into here. And then uh, you can leave any kind of notes like, you know, I hate you. Um, don't do that. I'm sensitive. Um, but, you know, like, oh, this, that, I had difficulty with this. I think this might have been whatever. Uh, I really like this project, you know. Whatever. Something, something that's, come on, cancel, man. There it goes. Uh, you can also get to the assignments just by clicking on here. It's the same thing as is that going right now it's not posted but it'll go directly to it there you go um and so you would uh submit your assignments there i i cover how to submit the assignments in the tutorial video too so don't worry about that uh let's go back to week one and then um another thing i'm going to do is i'm gonna have this checklist and all that's going to be is it's literally just did you do these things in this week this is what needs to be done by the end of the week and so it's explore the course on blackboard so did you peruse my menu um, visit the site and look at the stuffs that are on there. Uh, post an introduction on the, uh, the introduction discussion board and complete and submit week one fixed with blah, blah, blah. Uh, good. So just make sure you do those. If those are good and you got it, then you are bueno and you are good to go. Okay. Um, yes, that's good. All right, so that's basically what I need you guys to do. Um, hopefully that made sense. I know I kind of went off on a whole tangent thing there. So um, some of you might have a lot of experience with online classes. Some of you might have no experience with online classes. Personally, I don't really have much. Um, so I, I never took one in college because uh, I'm old and we didn't really do that back then. I mean, I guess it existed, but it wasn't, it was like kind of a rarity thing. Um, so uh, I don't have a lot of experience with it. I have taught like two maybe kind of, um, but they didn't go that great. So um, help me out. I'm going to do everything I can to help you. I'm going to try. We're going to make this as much of like a real class, you know, thing as much as we can. But also help me. Um, I am teaching a lot of courses. Uh, I'm trying to get all the things nice and tight and tidy and what have you. But there's a good chance that like I'm going to miss something. Or I forgot to connect something, or like something's miswritten. I don't know if that's a word, but maybe it is now. Uh, I made some more mis some sort of mistake. So like you know, I just didn't like something that's supposed to be there isn't there, or something that's there is wrong. Let me know. As soon as you let me know, I'll go on there and I'll fix it. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm trying to figure out as well, so I, I need your feedback as well. Or even if you think there's a better way I could deliver the content, or you know, you have this 
interesting thing or an idea, I that's how we learn is through constructive criticism. Um, and also, you know, if you want to give me some positive feedback too, that would be good because, you know, I it's just me in an empty room, so it's weird. Um, I'm used to having that back and forth, you know. Uh, but other than that, I mean, that's it, guys. So uh, I look forward to, to class. I, I, I think this is a real opportunity for us to, you know, explore this whole method of, of teaching and learning and, you know, let's Let's make it a really awesome experience. So, other than that, uh, uh, stay healthy, uh, stay safe, and I will see you.